I thought today we could make a mask together. If you don't know who I am, I'm mainly a TikTok creator and I make a ton of masks for my videos. And because it's spooky season, I thought it would be really fun to, you know, make a mask together, long form, I can walk you through the steps. Besides my Foxy Five Nights at Freddy's mask that I made for my Michael Afton cosplay, all my masks are original characters too. So I also thought it would be fun to like, go through how I come up with my characters and some like simple character design. <laughs> Today I thought it might be fun to create a fox mask together because I've only done this foxy one before and I've never actually made a fox of my own. I think the main thing when I'm coming up with this mask is just finding a way to make it super specific and super, you know, just really obvious it's a fox. And I think a lot of that comes from just a very simple, simple design. And that's why I'm kind of going towards sort of this like very triangle shape with the nose on the bottom and then maybe some very angled to the side eyes. And I was thinking I could make them like super duper realistic. I'm fully aware that this is kind of a stupid design, but my designs always kind of start like this and it gives me lots of room to like sort of create and explore and you know, change it as I go along. Now, here are the tools that we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of tape. Right here, this is a box that I have that has, you know, scissors and more tape in it, and just also a lot of markers, because I use a lot of markers in my designs, and here, I have a ton of scrapbook paper and construction paper. Also, this right here is a bruise wheel. Um, I think I got it from Ben Nye, but I use it all the time to make my masks look kind of dirtier and grimier, and I am obsessed with it. Uh, I thoroughly recommend, um, I probably need to buy a new one because this one is kind of a wreck. You're also going to need a box that goes on your head to, that is what like, you know, I put on my head so I can put the mask on the front. This one's actually been used in another TikTok before, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to use this. So this is how big of a space I need to cover with my mask. So it doesn't look like there's a box peeking from the corners. I just sorted through all this scrapbook paper and I picked out like some oranges. I really love these patterns, but the problem is, is there's only like one of each of these. So I think I'm going to use these maybe for the ears and maybe some embellishments. And then I obviously picked out a bunch of the orange construction paper so I can kind of use this as like a very simple base. Basically what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna tape together these big thick pieces of scrapbook paper. They're just the backs of two scrapbook sheets to kind of create a base. And it won't be very long about a maiden Basically, I'm marking where this box hits on this piece of paper so I can make sure that the mask I create is big enough to cover the box. <laughs> I've been using this really beautiful scrapping paper as a back for a bunch of masks recently and it's been making me almost a little sad because it's so beautiful but like I don't know what else to use. All right, so this is the completed back. This is basically what I'm going to draw the design on. All right, so I did the design on basically one side and I folded it in half so I can kind of get a symmetrical thing going on on both sides. What's funny is this mask is gonna end up being asymmetrical anyways because I'm doing such a bad job cutting this. All right, so this is basically the back for the fox mask. You kind of create a different backing and this is what I'm going to then trace this white shape onto and then I'm gonna cut it out. I'm ignoring the ears though because I think I wanna use the construction paper that is all cool and uh, patterned for the ears. <laughs> With this one maybe I'll even add like some additional orange in just to make really sure that it looks like a solid complete thing. I love some me weather so let's go to that beautiful sea. Follow along, say you're with me. Anything that all right, I'm now gonna cut this out. I still haven't figured out what I'm going as for Halloween, which is a little nerve-wracking. 
Every year I kind of do something not scary, which I always think that people find a little ironic. I was gonna go as the man in the yellow hat from Curious George this year, which maybe I still will, because I think that'd be a pretty cool costume. But if you have any ideas for Halloween costumes for me, just uh, let me know. Shoot, shoot me a DM, drop me a comment, let me know and give me your advice on what I think like I could do as a costume. All right, so I've got it all cut out now, which means I can now lay it on top. So I'm gonna basically tape it down now, and I'm gonna use, I think, the better, bigger tape, because I want it to be really sturdy, and then this will have a pretty good back and support. I forgot to put my Halloween necklace on. It says run, run, run on it, but I really wanted to wear it for this video and I completely forgot. So now I have it on, which makes uh, everything a little more spooky, scary, and you know, match the theme uh, just a little bit better. I feel a little more uh, Halloween-y now. Go to work, Marcelling hair, every... This is gonna be interesting because I feel like the fox's ears are almost gonna kind of look like devil horns, which... I really hope this doesn't turn out bad. If I make this whole video and this master nuts out bad, that's gonna be really, really embarrassing. I'm filming everything on my iPhone and it was gonna die, so I went and charged it some more. And in the meantime, I cut out some little details and embellishments. Now I'm gonna basically make these eyes look super duper hyper realistic, as realistic as I can make them. And then I'm gonna, you know, finish it all out. I feel like I hyped this up a little too much by saying as realistic as possible. Obviously, it's not gonna be as realistic as possible because, you know, I'm not the best artist in the world, but it's gonna be, you know, as good as I can make it. So hopefully uh, you guys like it and think it comes out kind of good. I feel like whenever I make these, they always look kind of rough while I'm in the process of making them. And then they just kind of come out in the end. So I'm hoping that's what happens with this one. So basically this is what it looks like right now. And I think I realized I want to put some smudge around the eyes. So I think I'm going to go in and do that now. And then I'm going to tape everything down. I feel like what this mask kind of reminds me of is like some sort of like demon creature that lures children out into the forest. All right, the mask is done. Uh, I think she looks pretty cool. I do feel if I were to make her again, I would use more scrapbook paper and less of the construction paper. I think I prefer the way the scrapbook paper looks, but um, she has been made. So uh, ready for the grand reveal? Uh, three, two, one. Wow. She's a little smudgy, but I really like the way she looks. I've also automatically called her a she because to me she looks kind of like a desperate mother. Uh, I put lots of scratches and smears of black around. It almost looks like she kind of has some sort of eyeshadow going on, which I think is kind of cool. I have a whole storyline I came up with. Literally while I was looking at her, I came up with a whole TikTok I could do starring her that I'm probably gonna make. Last time I made a mask video, um, it was this bunny I made. It was for TikTok and I really did like this bunny too. In fact, I feel almost like this bunny and this fox kind of have like they could be from the same thing energy, but I I really like the way this mask turned out. I think I think she looks super cool. Now I'm gonna insert the TikTok I'm gonna make with her. Poor Mother Fox. Mother Fox lived in the woods all alone. She used to have three kits of her own, but they unfortunately all passed. Mother Fox liked drinking tea with friends, making necklaces and arranging flowers. But once a mother, always a mother, and she longed for a child to raise. Hi, my name is Evan. Do you want to play? <laughs> Your fur reminds me of my mom. She's got red hair. Evan and Mother Fox took to each other immediately. Mother Fox was happy to help raise another child. I almost consider you to be like my other mom, my fox mother. The months passed and night began earlier and earlier. It's my birthday today. I hope my mom planned something. She forgot last year. Forgetting Evan's birthday. What a horrible mother. Neglectful. Mother Fox knew something had to be done. Fox Mother? Oh, it's you. Where's my mom? My real mom. What did you do to her? Mom! Mother Fox was surprised by Evan Sniffly. She raised her kits to be better than this. Maybe she made a mistake. 
Perhaps Evan wasn't the best replacement. What are you doing? Another kit lost. Poor Mother Fox. Thank you so much for watching my first ever YouTube video that's just me doing stuff. Um, I don't know if very many people are gonna watch this, but it was so much fun and I don't know, it was nice just to try something different and I'm so grateful to have a following on YouTube from people discovering and rediscovering my TikTok videos. I am so flattered that you guys like watching my stuff. It means the absolute world to me and uh, I hope I continue to make stuff for you guys and I hope you guys continue to watch and enjoy it. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, it means a whole lot to me if you're not already subscribed. Um, and yeah, drop a comment about your favorite horror movie uh, and I shall check them out because I need to watch more.